What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last bat or in our last episode, we actually got to Silent Wood City and we managed to, you know, take a tour, battle you scene, and get our well, let's see. Yeah, fifth badge. Yeah, we got our fifth badge. Now, there was a little something that we forgot to do here because, well, we didn't want to... Well, we were being lazy now. If you go right here, I think, if you talk to this lady, you went from Olivine, you remember the four islands along the way. I heard a mythical creature, see, uh, sea creature is hiding in them. It's not her. I heard that you can only see if you have the silver wing. Of course, we do not have the silver wing. And if you talk to this girl, let's see, whirlpools caused by a sea creature. Okay, so yeah, they're just letting us know of what exactly we need to do. Now, where is this house? I think it's this one right here. Could be wrong. Ah, it's him. So if you talk to this guy right here, he's gonna be like, I, I'm in shock! A guy about your age with piercing eyes and long hair came in! He scared me into giving him my prized Pokemon. I still have one left, but what if he comes back? You look strong. Could you look after my Pokemon for a while? Sure, let's go right ahead and take his Pokemon, and here it is. We grabbed ourselves a Pokemon. I wonder what that is. Now, if you're thinking it's a very, very powerful Pokemon, think again. It's just a Pokemon with a very, very, very strong defense. As you guys can see, this is Shucky, the Shuckle. It is both a rock and bug type Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, its stats are not that uh, impressive, except for its defenses. This is one of the most powerful defenses of all time, as you guys can see. 110 physical defense. 101 special defense. Its ability is gluttony, encourages the early use of Hellberry. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Yeah, not so impressive. Not a very impressive Pokemon and all that stuff. Oh my god. Okay, so let's go right into the Pokemon Center and replace these Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and do that. Um, so anywho, in our last uh, episode two, let's see, we we <laughs> it wasn't a, it wasn't a very very pretty battle, but we still managed to win the gym badge. It's just it's looking like to us that we need to start training our Pokemon just a little bit more because the next two episodes, uh, yeah, we're gonna be. Yeah, we're gonna be battling quite a few, quite a few trainers and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and move on to the next thing right here. So, after defeating Chuck's, uh, or after defeating Chuck of the Sinewood City Gym, his wife will notice that you have defeated him, and she will give you the HMO, uh, HMO2, I believe, and that is Fly. So, luckily for us, now we do have a flying type Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and give that to Togepi, and. Yeah, I'm going to take away Metronome because that move has just been horrendous. And, well, let's go right ahead and fly back all the way to Olivine because we got some business to take care of right over there. And, man, this is so freaking amazing because now we can fly anywhere we want, where we have been. And it's becoming apparent that we're getting closer to the like to the end of this first section of our game. So, here we are back in Olivine. And all we, need, all we need to do now is go straight into the lighthouse, and you'll be seeing that we got a shortcut. Look at that. And it, that is thanks to Jasmine right there, because she's actually helped us out right here. And, well, look at that. We're back. And there it is. We have arrived to the light room right here. And after arriving into the light room, and after getting the medicine, you can go up to... Jasmine right here, and she's going to be like, Will that medicine cure Amphi? Yes, it will. Draven handed the secret potion to Jasmine, and... Mm, please don't be offended. Amphi will not take anything from anyone but me. And, well, Amphi, are you, how are you feeling? And here it is. Amphi, Amphi is like, wow! And look at that. Holy buckets. Everything is back to normal. Look at this. Oh, I am so relieved. This is just so wonderful. Thank you so very, or thank you so very, very much. I will return to the gym. Okay. You know, you could have gone to the elevator. I'm just saying, I mean. And, of course, Amphi is happy. It is, uh, it, well, it can actually, you know, light up the way. So, after doing that, we can just take the shortcut back. And go all the way back down. Yes, I'm using the speed button because I have no patience for that. And we can go straight to the next gym, which is, well, right up ahead right here, so... Oh, wow, we're getting a call from Baboa! Oh, hi, Draven! This is Warden Baboa. Baoba, I should say. Sorry to have you uh, to have kept you waiting. We finally opened up the Safari Zone. Do you know where it is? 
Uh, you know where the gate inside the cavern in Cyanwood City is? If you go through there, you could walk for a short while and you should see soon see the Safari Zone. We're a little out of the way, but please come and visit. Hmm. Wow, what a... what a... <laughs> okay, so that right there throws a bit of a curveball towards our adventure, because I was actually thinking of going to back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back, uh, gym battles, but... I guess we're gonna make a small detour and back to Cywood City. So let's go right ahead, and, well, as you guys can see, here are some trainers, and he's like, I knew you'd come here. Thank you for helping a gym leader, but, uh, but battle is a, a separate matter. Go for it. These, well, technically are the trainers that you should have been battling. I know how capable uh, you are from the lighthouse. It's time that you showed that side of yourself to Jasmine. Good luck. These are the trainers that are supposed to be training against, or taking on, or challenging you and all that stuff. But they are so thankful that, well, you can go straight ahead to Jasmine and battle her. So let's go right ahead and take uh, take on Jasmine right here. And here she is. She's like, thank you for your help at the lighthouse. But this is different. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am Jasmine of the gym the or a gym leader. I use the Clang Steel-type Pokemon. Do you know about the Steel-types? They're very hard, cold, sharp, and very strong. Um, I'm not lying. And here it is, guys. Another gym battle up against Jasmine. Now this could be gym battle, this, this can be, well this is always going to be gym battle number what, six? Yeah, this is always going to be gym battle number six. And we're going to be taking on Magnemite right here. As you guys already know, Magnemite in generation two gains the second uh, secondary effect uh, or secondary typing of steel types. As you guys can see, we know what steel types are weak towards too. Fire types, yes. And, well, she's going to be coming out with a Steelix. I'm going to go with Nessie right here because I don't want to lose. Well, I kind of want to do something right here. So here we go, taking on Steelix. Level 35. Let's go with the Rain Dance. Bring it on. Look at that. Nessie's looking ready to go. And here comes an Iron Tail. And that right there hits us pretty hard. And Nessie survives it. So now that we got a Rain Dance going... This is going to actually help us out with a Surf Attack. It's going to power it up. Now, you got Steelix right here, both Ground and Steel type. So the Water types is going to help, is going to hurt it. And there you go. Steel Steelix has been defeated. Nessie gains a few points. Hercules as well. And look at that. Hercules goes to level 26. And well, she's got one more Pokemon left. I'm going to go straight for Hercules right here because the Rain Dance is still going. And, uh, yeah, Fire-type attacks won't be as effective against Magnemite until right now. And, well, she's like, properly tempered uh, steel won't be made by rusty things like this. Okay, all right. Let's go with the Brick Break. And there we go, Karate Chop this way. And there we go, look at that. Super effective. That's right, I am throwing out the peace sign. This was so much easier. <laughs> oh, God. So there it is, guys. We have defeated Whitney, or no, not Whitney. I mean uh, Jasmine right here. And she's like, "You're a better trainer than me in both skill and kindness." In accordance with the league rules, I confer upon you this badge. And look at that. We get ourselves a mineral badge from Jasmine. Throwing at that peace sign, guys. With that badge, all Pokémon, including traded ones, all up to or yeah, all Pokémon traded uh, up to level 70 will obey you without question. Um, please take this too. And there it is, guys. We grabbed ourselves the TM23. It's called Iron Tail. Your Pokemon will uh, will hit the target with its uh, hard tail, occasionally, occasionally lowering the target's defense. Hmm. Um, I don't know how to say this, but good luck. Okay. Good luck. So there it is, guys. We have won our sixth badge. And, well... I know this is going to be a brief episode and all that stuff, but in the next one, we are going to be going into the Safari Zone. We're going to be checking out a few things, because Safari Zone has a lot of content in there, so... Yeah, we're going to make it fun. Hopefully capture some new Pokemon and all that stuff. But anywho, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive and all that. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.